Signor, I got one. Oh, for the wife, maybe. Huh? No wife, no girlfriend. Tell me, the Fondamento San Giorgio, that's somewhere behind the Piazza San Marco, isn't it? See, si, Signore, under the clock tower in the third rack. Right. Signore, on a photo? Grant. Mercer. I phoned you from Milan about using this address. Mercer? Milan? Oh, yes, of course. Are there any letters? The advertisement's been in the paper for several days. Is that all? Yes. See the man that brought this? Certainly. What was he like? He was uh, in a business like mine. It would be unethical to discuss one client with another. A thousand lire should take care of your ethics. Yes. Yes. It is essential that you find out if there were any replies to the advertisement in the newspaper. This man, Mercer, must not be allowed to get any information about Lorenzo Uccello. You understand? We will attend to him. Reward given for information leading to present whereabouts of Lorenzo Uccello. Thirteen Fundamenta San Giorgio Venezia. Well, what about it? How many letters have you passed to this Mercer? Why should I tell you? We want to do business with you, Bastini. Don't make it difficult. Only one letter. He picked it up half an hour ago. What's it the letter say? I don't read letters which come here. You read every letter that goes through here. Sometimes you make money from them. 
You can make a thousand lira out of this one. Three thousand lira. One thousand lira, we said. It was from a Carlo Poldesca, no address. He's offered to meet Mercer tonight at nine on the steps of the Church of Maddalena. For 20,000 lira, he'll tell him everything he wants to know about Renzo Uccello. Describe this Poldesca. A working man. He's got a scar on the right cheek, right here. <laughs> Where do you live? That's so boring. I'll be all right. You want a doctor? No. I'll be all right. I'll give you a hand. I can manage. Don't be a fool. I can fix your arm up at my hotel. It's just around the corner. Come on. Carlo Boltesca of the Palazzo Boria. You've got something wrong, signor. I'm Sandro Macanti. You'd do better to pretend you'd lost your memory, Boltesca. Never heard of anyone called Boltesca. Must go. Stay where you are. You wrote that to me. I'm Mercer, the man you came to meet. lost your memory. I advertised for information about Renzo Uccello. You answered. Your price was 20,000 lira. Don't you still want it? I don't know anything about this. I'm not Valdesca.
Now try and tell me you're not Baldeska. Come on, what's the matter with you? What are you afraid of? Take it easy. You'll get me something to drink. I will tell you. I'll get your brandy. Why don't they get bells fixed up in this place? Nobody wants to walk from their room to the bar in between drinks. Sorry, Signora. But you could take a bottle. You can say to us at the walk. <laughs> That's an idea. in and have some of the medicine. Renata's young man works for an American relief organization. You don't change. No, nor you. Bless you. What are you doing in Venice? Oh, a cut-rate job. Third-class fare, second-class hotel, maybe a hundred pounds out of the whole thing, if I pull it off. And who are you doing it for? Same Paris firm of lawyers, Gavilan Brothers. You swore you'd never touch them again after that room business. They even let you take the blame for a killing you knew nothing about. Well, they got us both clear in the end. What's the job? I'm looking for a man. <laughs> I've been doing that all my life. Do you know that girl? No. Some information. On the way here, he was badly scared. That came from him. Unfortunately, I let him get away while I was fetching him a drink. I must be slipping. Ten years ago, I'd have made a talk before I got him a drink. Five years ago, I'd have locked the door while I went to fetch it. Tonight? No, oh, you're talking nonsense. Come along and have another drink. That man tonight, the man I let get away, he said he lived in the Palazzo Boria. Do you know where that is? Yes, I do. It's on the Grand Canal on the other side of town. What is this place? This is the Galleria Borea, but please go upstairs and have a look around. Everything is for sale. <laughs> Including that staircase? Why not? We sold one previously to a gentleman from Cincinnati. I have this one wrapped up for me and I'll collect it on my way out. Good morning, signorina. Una letra.
I'm sorry. This room is not open to the public. Can I help you? I wonder if you could. I'm looking for someone. I think he works here. Who is he? A man called Boldeska. I'm sorry. He's not here today. Will he be here tomorrow? We hope so. If you'd care to leave a message, I'll see that he gets it. Thank you. Would you tell him that I'm still anxious to hear about his friend? My name's Mercer. All right, I tell Bordesca that Mr. Merce is still anxious to hear about his friend. And his friend's called Renzo Uccello. That he gets the message. And now if you... You make tapestries here, I see. The border tapestries are famous. And expensive? Everything is expensive here. Would you like to see something? Maybe some furniture? No, oh, thank you. The most furniture I ever owned was a wardrobe trunk. You won't forget my message, will you? No. Thank you. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. Is Count Borio still here? Si, signorina. He's in his room. All right. If anybody wants me, I'm with him. Who's the dark-eyed Madonna in the cream overall? With a touch of ice in her face. Ah, uh, you mean signorina Adriana Medova. Adriana? What is she? She's the director of the Galleria. She does the designs for the tapestry. I wanted to see Baldesca. What does he do? Carlo. He's the outside porter. He's taken the day off, I understand. One day, two, maybe three. One never knows with Carlo. I can't help being worried. This man could be dangerous. He could ruin everything. There is little of importance that Baldesca could tell him, signorina. Even a little could mean a lot to a private detective. If he talks to Boldesca... No, 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 that can't happen. Boldesca has been sent away. Sent away? Yes. Where? Uh, to Milan. Please don't worry. Soon our arrangements will be complete, and then you'll have no more anxieties. I shall be glad when all this is over. You think this Mercer will come back? I'm sure he will. Mm. In that case, it might be wiser to get him out of the way. When he comes back, tell him what he wants to know. You can do that, can't you? Yes, if you... if you wish me to. I do. If we don't help him, he might help himself to too much. When a man faces a blank wall, he turns around and comes back. But put him on the wrong path, and he'll never come back. I gave instructions that Boldesca was not to meet the Englishman. It was unavoidable, Signore. He has been dealt with now. Mercer has been here. It would have been the police and not Mercer if Boldesca had talked. Nevertheless, it wasn't done as I wanted. Remember that I took you out of the gutter. That I gave you a name. That I put the braid on your sleeves. Remember those things, Longo. Sorry, signore, I remember. Still no wife, still no girlfriend. Still no wife, still no girlfriend. <laughs> Good right, signore. You stay here a few more days, still no wife, maybe, but plenty of girlfriends. Uno photo. Then we do business, huh? Signora Mercer. What's the matter, dear? You're troubled, signore. Not more than usual, why? You are signore Eduardo Mercer? Uh -huh. I should be glad, signore, if you would accompany me to the Questura. Signor Spadone, the chief of police would like to see you. Well, what do they want with me at police headquarters? I'm not told that. It must be something important to send a sergeant. Maybe because you're English, it is a compliment. The time the police have ever wasted a compliment on me. This way, please, Signor Amasa. Signor Spadone will see you straight away. All right. <laughs> I do not smoke, but if you wish, thanks. Luigi! Your passport, please. How many times have you been in Italy, Mr. Mercer? Uh, five. Uh, you obviously like our country. I go where my work takes me. Your work? I'm a private detective. Ah. Uh, you do not ask why I sent for you? I'm full of curiosity. <laughs> well, perhaps we can gratify the curiosity at least. If you will come with me, I have something very interesting to show you. Mr. Mercer's passport registered a check.
This body was pulled from the canal near your hotel at six o'clock this morning. As you can see, this man's face has been battered till it's almost unrecognizable. He has been stabbed. There's a wound on the left arm. Round the wound was wrapped a handkerchief. A handkerchief marked with your name. I've satisfied your curiosity. Can you satisfy mine? Some of it. This man answered an advertisement of mine for information about a Renzo Uccello. Do you know who he was? He said his name was Sandro McCanty. Last night was the first time I'd seen him. On the way to meet me, he was beaten up. At my hotel, I bandaged his arm with my handkerchief. Then, whilst I was out of the room to get him a drink, he disappeared. I got nothing from him but Uccello. Mm. Probably gave you a false name. Yes, I think he did. What are you going to do? Arrest me for his murder? No, I am more interested in Ocello. Luigi, speak up. Mr. Mercer's password, please. It has been thoroughly checked. Good. Now, about this Ocello. Who wants him? A Paris firm of lawyers. They have an American client whose son, a flyer, was shot down in Italy during the war. Renzo Ocello, who was a partisan, saved his life. He carried him over the mountains through the snow. Then he left him at an inn where he lay sick. Later the Germans came along and raided the place and the son was taken prisoner. <laughs> you believe in this story? Why not? Flyers were shot down and rescued. Besides, I found the inn. They remembered Uccello there, told me that he'd originally come from Venice. That's why I came here. And then uh, when you find him, what happens? Well, he's a hero, a lucky one. There's a reward for him. He did save a man's life. Hmm. And this morning we pulled a man out of the canal, much too late to save his life, who said he knew something about this Uccello. Don't you find this very interesting? My only interest is to find Uccello. Hmm. Oh, your passport, Mr. Mercer. Thanks. Well, I'm sorry I couldn't help you. Oh, very good of you to come. Goodbye. Goodbye. Luigi! Get Cassan. Well? I don't trust him. Did he do it? I don't think so. Ah, Cassan. Signore, I've got a job for you. At your service, Signore. No, stop your fooling. I want you to watch someone. A woman, yes? No, a man. Who is it? Edward Mercer, English, staying at the Albergo Adriatico. Is that all? No, it is not all. Luigi, you remember the big political killing we worked on together during the war? Yes, of course. We caught the man. No, of course. We caught the man. He was shot. But you remember, too, we both felt, though we could never get enough definite proof, that there were others behind him. Two others. One, Edward Mercer, a British agent, and Rosa Melitas, an Englishwoman who has lived in Italy for about 20 years. And what do we find now in Venice? This same Edward Mercer, looking for a man who disappeared during the war. A man I know to be guilty of robbery, treason and murder. And also in Venice, Rosa Melitas, running a sort of boarding house. A nice couple. And already a man has been killed. You had better keep your eye on him, Cassana. Why don't you pull out of the whole thing? A job's a job, especially these days. What about this girl, this, uh, Adriana? What about her? Perhaps I could make some inquiries about her for you. No, I don't think so. <laughs> All right. Perhaps you'd better. Rosa! Rosa! That'll be Bernardo. Who's he? Bernardo. He's an undertaker. Rosa. Rosa, come here. Bernardo, <laughs> my beautiful. <laughs> Who's this? Edward Mercer. I told you about him. How long have you been here in the house? About 20 minutes. You're here on business or...? Uh... Business. Why? The police are very interested in somebody in this house. It isn't Rosa, unless she's hiding something from me. It cannot be me because me they will treat different. How do you know? Look, by the canal. I know them all. That one is a street photographer. His name is Cassana. Cassana? Hmm. I've seen him before. 
Thanks for the tip. Bernardo's a good man to know if ever you're in trouble. <laughs> I've seldom been out of it. That's true for all of us. There is only one place where men are free of trouble. I make my money putting them there. Buongiorno. Ah, buongiorno. Yes, great man, this Nerva. Politician, but he's a great man. Everybody in Italy likes him. He's coming here tomorrow, is he? He's going to open an art exhibition. It's going to be civic reception, procession of gondolas on the Grand Canal. Fireworks in the evening, of course. File? <laughs> yes, of course. All right, I'll do it. <laughs> He's a nice little fellow. What's his name? Toto. Toto. Oh, that's a nice name. What's yours? Nietta. Nietta Maria Pia Minelli. Oh, that's a nice one, too. Much, much longer. Carlo Baldesca lives with you, doesn't he? Yes. I don't like him. He Toto. Oh, poor Dodo. <laughs> Have you ever seen a friend of his called Renzo Cello? Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Run along, darling. Your father wants you. Oh, then you better run along. Good night. Good night. Good night. I was coming to see if Baldesco was back. I'm afraid he's not. Well, that's a pity. I'm still looking for his friend, Renzo Cello. That's a pretty heavy bag. May I take it with you? Thank you. Well, it is heavy. What are you hiding in here? Antiques? No. Onions and tomatoes. <laughs> Do you have far to go with this? Quite a way. Well, may I come with you? That's very kind of you. I got a job once delivering vegetables. I was 12 and I wanted the money for a bicycle. And did you get it? <laughs> As usual, the job didn't last long enough. I came to the palace this evening. I might have missed this. Is it... Is it important for you to know about Baldesca? Yes, it is. I came to Italy to trace a man called Renzo Uccello. And Baldesca was going to give me some information about him. May I have a cigarette? Yes, I'm sorry. I think... I think I can tell you all you want to know about Uccello. You can? Yesterday you said... I know. But Uccello isn't someone I find it easy to talk about to a stranger. Now that I know you're little, it's less difficult. If you can help me at all, I'd be very grateful. Uccello was here during the last part of the war. We were together. I only want to know where he is now. I'm sorry to have to do this. He's dead. He was killed in an air raid in a small town called Mirabe. Not very far from here. If you go there, they tell you all about him. Have you had any relatives? Not that I know of. I'm the only one who remembers him. I should have told you in the past. No, you've helped me a lot. I'm very grateful. I'm glad. I shall have to go to Morave. And after that? Will you be leaving Venice? I don't know. <laughs> p.m. 3rd of January, 1945. This place was in the German hands then. Killed everyone in the hotel. It fell on a hotel. Si, si, senor. Albergo Risorgimento across the square there. Senor, no good at looking. Nothing but a pile of rubble now. Eighteen killed. And Uccello was one of them. 
Well, that's what it says here. Now, how would Lucello identify it? I don't know. You'd better ask Crespi. He was mayor at the time. He was first on the spot. Pulled most of them out and arranged the whole lot for a funeral. <laughs> Must have made a fortune out of the business. <laughs> Where do I find him? Where are you gonna find him? Sino Baldi Crespi, by the station. He is our stone amazing. He did the memorial plug. Ah, that's it. Well, thank you very much. Grazie. Buenos Aires. Prego, senor. Belluva, signore, belluva, belluva bianca, belluva americana, signore, belluva, belluva. Signora, it is not a polite to enter without being requested. The police? From Venice? Now what has happened? You have just interviewed the Signora Mercer. I want to know all that was said. All? Word for word? Everything. Huh. But put your shoes on first. Scusa. Are you the man that carved the memorial in the square? It's a fine piece of work. <laughs> Mamma mia, no. Who did then? My assistant, Paolo Terva. A genius, if ever there was one. Ah, oh, poor Paolo. The Germans took him when they left. Oh, the good Lord knows what's happened to him. He's dead, I suppose. If you come inside, I'll show you some of his work. Yes, I'd like to. I believe you helped the people here the night of the air raid. Yes, I was mayor then. Oh, what a night that was. Do you remember a man named Renzo Cello, who was one of the killed? Yes, very well. I and Paolo carried him out. Ah, look at this panel, signor. Ah, there's a donkey for you. Huh, with a broken back and a belly full of sour hay. <laughs> yes, only a genius could have done that. Yes. Yeah. What was this man Renzo Cello like? Oh, oh, he was smashed to pieces. They all were. i show you some of Paolo's designs. Then how did you identify him as Renzo Cello? Well, he had his identity card and a letter from a woman in Venice. Oh? Who was she? Oh, I don't remember. We wrote to her. Oh, yes, she sent some money for his funeral. Now, that's magnificent. Where would the identity card and the other records be now? Oh, burnt. When the English soldiers took over the town hall, they used them for their cookhouse fires. Now see how he had that. <laughs> oh, he had away with them in life too, yes. And birds and children. Oh, he was a fine, gay spirit. Did Paolo Trevor do that? Yes, nobody else. And that was Paolo's favorite. Oh, I'd like to have that. Oh. No, I'll pay you for it. Oh, well, never mind about the pay, but uh, take it. Take it. It's good to know somebody else appreciates Paolo. Ah, he interests me very much. Very fine piece of work, my dear. Very fine. I must congratulate you. Thank you. But I'm glad it's finished. <laughs> we had some trouble with the plumage dye. Yes. Yeah. Have you a buyer for it? Yes. A silk merchant from Milan. As fat and ugly as one of his own berms. It should go to the palace of a cardinal. However, the world changes. I saw the Englishman. Yes? He went to Mirava yesterday. You don't seem to be very happy about it? I wish all this could be over. It's been so long. All this lying under the seat. Sometimes I think I just... I just can't go on any longer. <laughs> Cara signorina, I understand. You mustn't worry about it. Everything will be all right. Our only danger was the Englishman. And now he's been put off. Ah. I'm glad my man was able to find you. Well, we're both taking it easy this morning, eh? I've joined the ranks of the unemployed. Well, you found Renzo Uccello? He's dead. A hero's death, I hope. I'm supposing you tell me. 
Here's his dossier. Come, please, have a look at it. Have a good look at it. No, wait. Incidentally, it wasn't your photographer spy who followed me to Marave, but somebody did. A woman. If we'd known he was buried in Marave, we'd have told you. He's done just about everything, hasn't he? Well, now you understand why I was a little suspicious when you came around making inquiries about him. A murderer, a thief, forgery, the lot. Why did you never get your hands on him? <laughs> Don't ask embarrassing questions. No, no, but because he was no ordinary crook. Half French, half Serb, not really Italian. And he seemed to inspire a certain loyalty in the people he worked with. Well, at any rate, they never betrayed him. It's not going to be easy to tell our American clients the truth. Well, decent people are entitled to a few illusions. Go back and tell your friends that Ocello died like a hero. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. You think Renzo Ocello did this design whilst calling himself Paolo Cerva? Yes. The police records say that Ocello was once apprenticed to a stonemason. Now, Paolo was a stonemason. Uccello was a draftsman, an artist, so was Paolo. I think that Uccello used the name of Paolo Cerva as an alibi, and that he planted his Uccello papers on the smashed up body. When that body was buried, all proof that Uccello was still alive disappeared. I'm going to have a look at that tapestry in the Borea Palace. If the two designs are the same, it means to say that Uccello was not the man buried at Mirave. It's no concern of yours. For your money, Uccello's dead. I told you, I don't like to be fooled. By a woman? By anyone. What did Bernardo find out about her? Nothing that helps. There's something going on in that palace. Valdesca came from there to tell me about Uccello and he was murdered. Now Paolo's design turns up there. You don't want to finish up the way Valdesca did. I can take care of myself. <laughs> the times I've heard men say that. Take it. Thanks, I never use them. Survival is often a simple matter of being able to change your habits at the right moment. You watch yourself at that palace. What is Uccello doing here? One might ask the same question about you. Come in and shut the door. Have they told you whom they are sending from Rome? No, I don't know who it will be. I just got a message to say he will be at Orfeo's on Saturday about 8 o'clock. You are to meet him there, and I must confirm it right away. Eight o'clock, Orpheus Glassworks. Right. Now help yourself to some sherry and stop frowning. So what is he doing here? Why shouldn't I come up here? As soon as I'm finished with Mario Nerva, I'll be away. Every artist likes to see his work when it is finished. It's 
Did Adriana tell you it was finished? Well, Signore, she tells me everything. I hope you don't tell her everything. She must not know about Madeo Nerfa. Who do you think I am? Now that's enough. I don't want to hear the name of Nerva. Well, you can have five minutes. Don't get that on my cushions. Uh, my name's Mercer. Minelli there knows me. Quite. But that doesn't explain your presence here. Let him give his explanations to the police. He can explain to them as well, if necessary. Well, uh, I came in here late this afternoon to have a look around. I sat in a window seat, and uh, I must have fallen asleep. When I woke up, it was dark. Uh, there was a light coming from underneath the door. I went across. Uh, as I got there, someone came out. Uh, I couldn't see who it was, but he behaved very suspiciously. A ridiculous story. Go on, Mr. Mercer. Well, I thought it was a burglar. We played cat and mouse in there for a while, and, and then Ninetta came in. I didn't want to frighten her, but as I was going across to the light, something, something hit me. One can get a very odd feeling in that room at night. Imagination? Oh, this cut's not imagination. This is what hit you, Mr. Mercer. I don't believe this story. He should be searched. I didn't take anything. You can look in my pockets. And I didn't knock myself out. You can send for the police, if you want to. I don't think that'll be necessary. Minelli, take the child down to your quarters. I've had reason before to complain about her wanderings and make a search of the premises with longer. Si, senor. Perhaps we ought to take a look around the tapestry room. If you wish. Please. We won't find anybody. Yeah. So I see. 
I think you ought to let me give you a drink. Huh? Thanks, I could do with one. Come on. I see. Very well, Minelli. Minelli's been through the palace. There's no one here who should not be. <laughs> Maybe I dreamed it all. Maybe. You feeling all right now? Yes, thank you. I'll let you out through my private entrance. It used to be a secret exit. I use it to save Minelli trouble with the main door at night. That's a very interesting tapestry you have in the workroom. Who did the design? You like it? It's very interesting. A signorina Medova who works here did it. It's based on the painting by Roland Savori, which as far as I can remember used to be in the Kunsthistorische Museum in Vienna. Good night, Mr. Mercer. Good night. <laughs> Good evening. I'd like a word with you. Why, of course. I went to Mirave. I hope you found what you wanted. Would you like to have a drink? Why are you so anxious for me to believe that Uccello's dead? Uccello is dead. You know he isn't. No. Now, why do you say that? If you've been to Mirabe, you must know he's dead. I know you want me to think that he's dead. Just as you want me to think that Baldesca's alive. But Baldesca is alive. I wonder how much you do know. What was Baldesca to you? Why, nothing. I took this photograph from him the evening he came to see me. He must have stolen it. I don't like him. I'm glad he's gone. He's dead. His body was taken out of a canal the morning after I saw him. But there must be some mistake. Conbori has the letter from him. He's in Milan. Baldesca's dead. The police have already questioned me about him. But then why didn't they come to the palace? The police and I seldom exchange confidences. I didn't give them his real name or where he lived. I don't believe it. Baldesca is in Milan. I know. And Uccello? Uccello is dead. Right. Don't believe me. I'm not here to worm some secret out of you. But that is your profession, isn't it? The only reason I'm here is because I want to help you. And why should you be concerned about me? Why? Can't you see I'm not interested in Lucillo? Half my life's been spent ferreting about in dark little corners, and there's no longer any surprise in me in the things that come to light. Evil, suspicion, fear, that's my profession. But now and again, in the midst of all the muck, you find someone who makes you realize that the world isn't just darkness. A woman can do that to you. You've done that to me. Do you understand what I'm saying? I understand. But I wish you hadn't come. You're wasting your time. Time's the only thing I have to waste. There is nothing for you, Venice. No? We'll see. Renzo. Renzo, you heard what he said. Yes, Gerda. I don't understand about Bordesca. He isn't dead, is he? Adriana, what's the matter with you? You aren't being taken in by his lies, are you? Don't worry about him. Not him. Us. Renzo. How much longer is the one that's going on? Only another week. Then I should be safely away and it won't be long before you can follow too. Are you surprised that he has fallen in love with you? Hmm? 
I don't understand. Every time I see him, it gives me the impression of searching for something I don't know about. Forget him. Boria can handle him. What did he do to you out there? Did he touch you? No. Don't be a fool, Enzo. I cut his throat. Cara. we've almost met before. Maybe, signore. I have a present for him on my birthday. People get presents for other reasons. Who sent this? Open it, signore. One hundred thousand lira. Have they underestimated your nuisance value? Was there any message with this? Yes. It is a first-class reserve ticket for the Paris train. And the instruction that you must use it today. Oh, they do things in style, don't they? Why don't they give me the same treatment they gave Baldesca? Your English signore, maybe they think it wise to handle you differently. But you don't. They need not have wasted their money. idea was that I could be bought off. Yours? Please go away. When you've answered my question. Please, you're hurting my arm. I'm in a hurry. It's taken us a long time to understand each other, but I should have thought you'd have known I couldn't be bought off. I don't know what you're talking about. Look, you don't have to act with me. Take these back where they came from. And remember, I'm still ferreting about in the dirtiest and darkest corners I can find. you make. All of them could have been avoided if you'd only stopped to think. I could have told you he wasn't to be bribed. One hundred thousand lire. All new notes. <laughs> he must be a saint. Saint Eduardo of the hundred thousand lire. <laughs> He's no saint. He hates his work, so all his pride is in himself. You have your pride only in your work. You think too much about him. I begin to understand him. Sometimes I don't understand you or Count Boria. I must see you again to tell you how mistaken you are about me. I shall wait for you on the steps of the Salute at 10 o'clock tonight. of you to come. Thank you. I nearly didn't. What is it you want to tell me? When you gave the money back, I learned a lot about you. You'll never know how close I came to keeping it. I don't think you did. I could have told Renzo you couldn't be bright. He is alive, isn't he? Yes. Well, for a hero, he's a hard man to reward. He has a police record. I don't turn people over to the police. Long time ago, he killed a man in self-defense. Then he was desperate and did foolish things. Where is he now? He was a partisan during the war. Then he had the chance to bury Renzo Cello for good and he did so. Under the name of Paolo Cervo, he was taken away by the Germans for Mirave. And now he's back in Venice? He has been here six months. Count Bori and I are helping him to leave the country. You see, he's a man of great talent and possibilities. And if you had found him, there would have been publicity. And the police would have taken him. So Count Borea and Uccello tried to bribe me to leave. The Count must have taken one look at me and it would be easy. They were wrong. But now I'm asking you for my sake. Please go away from Venice and forget about him. You know I'd do anything for you. Does he know about this? 
No. What does he call himself now? I can't tell you that. All I'm asking is that you should... No, no, leave Venice. What is this man to you? I am his wife. I was married when I was 17. And no matter what he's done out of his wildness, he's my husband. For years he was out of my life. I used to wish he'd never come back. But when he did, I was glad. If Ruth simply wishes his past to be dead so that he can start to live in another country, I'm not interested in exposing him to the police. What else could there be? Could Uccello have killed Baldesca because the man had found out his secret? Baldesca is alive, but it was in self-defense because he was young and wild, but right. not now. All right. I only want to get things clear for your sake as well as my own. Borea could have forged Baldesca's letter. The Count would have noped in anything like that. What is his interest in all this? He's helping us because he has known us since children. And because he recognizes Renzo's genius. And the Count that excuses so much. You must believe me. And you're going away with your husband? I shall join him later. What will you do? Can I help? There's no father. I'll get a doctor. No, I'd rather keep home, father. You knew that this was going to happen. Please, you must believe me. Oh, for pity's sake, what do you think I am? I know you, I know this town. Now, why don't you be sensible and leave Venice? I'm staying. Where would you go if someone asked you to meet them in Orpheus Glassworks? The Glassworks of that name at Murano, owned by Count Boria. Sounds like the place. The night I broke into the palace, I heard Boria actually talking to Uccello. They're meeting again tomorrow night at Orpheus Glassworks at 8 o'clock. I'm going to be there, too.
empty now, signore. Do you wish me to wait? Yes, he won't be long now. Very good, signore. Read that. Now tell me, what am I supposed to understand of a message like that? How can I take action with no facts? Tell me, please. Well, if there's any truth in this, there's likely to be something near a riot. Reliable indications not susceptible to proof, but bearing a circumstantial authenticity which cannot be ignored. <laughs> I can just see the first great filter in Rome smacking his lips over this. Then you know what happened? A whisper, a rumor, a few words spilled by a frightened servant, and they expect me to get results on the basis of no facts. An attempt to assassinate Madeo Nerva. If that happened, haven't they any idea who's behind it? It's politics, obviously. Kill Nerva, set up the country, and then the interested party created a coup d'etat. Tell me, which party do you think would do a thing like that? Well, no, I... don't bother. Right. And what are we supposed to do? Lock him in a room or go out and pick up the assassin now? Well, we've got all the likely men in the city within a couple of hours. And yeah, that is just what we are going to do, including Mr. Eduardo Mercer. He'll be here soon. I wish I could. Is everything arranged for him? Yes. Tomorrow he does his work for us, and then in two days he'll be on his way to South America. We are taking a great risk. Ah, but think of the reward. In a week of Nerva's death, we'll be in power. And out of weakness and confusion, we shall create discipline and strength. Uccello might miss. <laughs> Uccello won't miss. Matteo Nerva is as good as dead at this moment. There's someone here. What was that? Put on the light. Come on. He could have been in Paris with the money in his pocket. Saint Eduardo of the hundred thousand lire. Come on, give me a hand with him. There must be some other way of dealing with this man. None so convenient. Uccello will still fire the shot. But where you are standing now will be the body of your son, Mercer. Whom you will have caught in the act and killed when he tried to attack you. A man with the blood money in his wallet. A hard-up Englishman already mixed up in one assassination. It's neat and saves us a lot of trouble. I've never... You don't object to playing the hero? He will be the first man I've killed. When Nerva is dead, you won't be forgotten longer. Mercer should have been back by now. Maybe the police have got him. They've been picking people up all over the place today. Something's going on. Well, I hope it is the police and not someone else. I wouldn't like him picked out of a canal. If it comes to that, perhaps I can help. Nice mahogany top, silver plated fittings. It's very difficult to get mahogany these days. But for a friend of yours. <laughs> you should live in a morgue. That's a good idea. Who would I play cards with? It's 
understood you weren't coming tonight. I changed my mind. I scared only one more day. Just as well. Every time you come, you scratch the rail here. <laughs> I should have to paint it soon. Renzo, nothing could go wrong now, could it? No, Carol. Only one more day, we should be away from here. I had no idea Nerva was so popular. I don't envy him. The love of the people can be a very dangerous thing. Bravo, Nerva! Grandiamente! <laughs> Just listen to them. Cigarette? You smoke when you get out of this room. And keep that rifle down till you want to use it. You're nervous. Well, that's good. You're both going to kill. It's easier if you're frightened or angry or drunk. It's going to be hard for you with him just lying there. Shut up. Fifteen meters to the middle of the canal. At least he'll be moving. Not lying like a bag of clover. You talk too much. I have to. It proves I'm human. During the war, I used to pick off German dispatch riders. Funny. Sometimes the machines used to go on quite a long way without them. Cake, not black bread. Nerva was born a peasant too. He's going to die a martyr. Keep your filthy mouth shut. Here they come. They're coming now. When you have done it, drop the rifle by him and get out. Don't worry, I'm not staying to be congratulated. Hello, Bellissimo. I should have a pencil, not a gun. Viva Nerva! Just making off as I arrived. I hit him before he could use his rifle on me. He did? Minelli, take everybody downstairs and keep them there till the police arrive. 
Signorina, go with them, please. Leave everything to me. Why didn't you kill him? The child came in. I will do it now. After all those people have seen him? No, Longo. The police will have to do what you bungled. They'll take longer, but the end will be the same. Attenzione! Attenzione! Questo è un annuncio della polizia. I forestieri sono pregati di tornare subito al loro albergo. Tutti i posti sul canale grande saranno bloccati. I forestieri sono pregati di tornare subito al loro albergo. Si prega di cooperare con la polizia. Grazie. Grazie. Shot through the lung. Only a matter of a few hours before he dies. Who dies? Please spare us this pretense of ignorance about Nero. Never? Be quiet. Tenente Longo, you are the first here? Yes. How did you happen to be first here? Count Boria invited me to watch the procession from the waterfront. I didn't know any of the guests and I felt a bit uncomfortable. So I went to the top of the stairs to watch from the window. When Nervous Barge was opposite the palace, I heard a shot fired from this room and I saw Nerva fall down. I rushed in here and saw this man with a rifle in his hands. Can't you see he's lying? Be quiet. Your turn will come. Be quiet. He went for me, but I hit him with my revolver. A few seconds later, Ninetta came in and afterwards Minelli. Minelli? Ah. Everything he says is perfectly true. And uh, when I came in, I saw Nin Ninetta and Tenente Longo and Sino Mercer was lying on the floor beside the chair. Now you can talk. I didn't shoot Nerva. Why should I? He was only a name to me. <sighs> You'll have to do better than that. I found this in your pocket. A hundred thousand lire, Signor. That answers your why should I? And this rifle with your fingerprints on it. No, let him walk around. Empty to answer. Nerva was shot by Renzo Uccello. Will you explain to me how a man who is buried at Meravi can be in this room? That's just it. He's not dead. I want you to believe now, but I wasn't put off. A few nights ago in the Orfeo glassworks, I heard them discussing how Uccello was to shoot Nerva. Then they found me and I've been kept in this palace ever since. Two hours ago, this man drugged me. When I came to, you were all in this room trying to pin this on me. Are you suggesting that Count Boria is framing you for this crime? Well, isn't it obvious? That's very ingenious. Yes. Stop, I'm not lying! Sit down and be calm. Count Boria, would you care to answer this accusation? Thank you. This man's story is absolute nonsense. I know nothing of anyone called Uccello. Look, send for Signorina Madova. She works here. She's Uccello's wife. She told me he's alive and that Boria's helping him to get out of the country. This man has a fantastic imagination. Yes, yes, but at last he has given us something we can check on. This Signorina Medova, is she in the palace? Yes. Get her, Luigi. Now we shall see, Mr. Massa. Tutti ponti sul canal grande saranno bloccati. Ah, Signorina Medova, we want you to help us. I will if I can. Do you know this man? Yes. He has been this before. He tells us that you are the wife of a certain Renzo Uccello. I was the wife of Renzo Uccello. Head. He's buried at Mirac. That's not true. You know it's not true. Luigi, clear the room. Come, come. You've had your chance. Please. Thank you, Signorina. Mercer. And uh, now sit down. Attenzione. Attenzione. Tutte le persone devono allontanarsi dal canale. Tutte le gondole tornino ai loro quartieri. Yes, 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 I hear, but nothing you say convinces me, Mercer. Probably because it's the truth. What do you take me for? We find the rifle with your fingerprints, you're hard up, and you've been in a similar job before, and you expect me to believe this cock and bull story about Uccello? Why didn't you go to Paris? Why didn't you stay secretly in Venice? What do you take me for? A man has already made up his mind that I'm a killer. 
Mercer, listen. Nerva is going to die. This may mean big trouble for this country. If I can find the men behind the killing, I may be able to handle the situation. I want you to help me. Oh, I told you, Boreas, your man, why don't you make him talk? You mean Borea hired you? No, but he hired Cello, Cello, always Uccello. Uccello killed Nerva. Look, why don't we make a deal? Plenty of cash and your personal safety. Now, what else have you got to worry about? Look, if I could do a deal with you, I would. Doesn't that prove I'm telling the truth? No, it proves that you're hoping your friends will fix things up for you. I'm losing patience with you. I'll make you talk before midnight, one way or another. Uccello's the man that needs that kind of treatment. Uccello is dead! Look, I'll do a deal with you. Yes? I'll show you that Uccello's alive. Oh, if I hear that name again, I think I go mad. For two hours, I've heard nothing but Uccello, Uccello, Uccello. Well, Luigi, Luigi! Time to knock. The police are after me. I shall give you five minutes, then I'll telephone Spadoni. So you've heard. Don't tell me you believe that I shot Nerva. Didn't you? No, I didn't. All right, Rosa. I can make it on my own. I shall have to believe you. If you've got to jump for it, the canal's 30 foot below that window. Where is he? There. I knew he would come to you. We must get him away from here quick. Spadoni's coming. Look, you'll both make trouble for yourselves trying to help me. Anyway, I'm innocent. I might as well give myself up. What's innocent got to do with it? You don't stand a chance for the man like Borea. He can fix anything. So can I. Come on. Don't waste time. Most people not. Right. Search all the rooms on this floor first. If you want a room, we're full up. I don't fool with me, Rosa. I'm not in the mood. I've never kept a man under my bed in my life. Who are you looking for? Mercy, shot Nerva. Oh, he didn't do it. He's not that kind. Well, you can tell, eh? Why not? I know him better than you. And I shot at him, wherever he is. Maybe wounded. Man can run a long way with a bullet in him. Rosa, find him for me. A hundred thousand lira for you. I don't earn that kind of money. No? Very well. I shall have to leave a guard here. You're not the first Englishman who has come this way. I've seen a general scramble across here like a cat. Come. Here we are. Here's the bed. It's not very clean. There's water you can wash. Shave. Everything's in the cabinet. Lock the door after me. Don't open it again till you hear me knock. Like that. Right. Right. How long do I stay here? One night, two nights, it depends. What's the matter? I've got a splinter. I could lay my hands on you, Cello. You stay here. I'm going to get some food. 
Forget about Gloria. But forget the cello. What's going on in your head? I was thinking. The man always leaves marks. What are you talking about? I've seen marks like these before on another balcony. And I think I know how they got there. Do you know where Adriana Madova lives? I know where everybody lives. Well, do you know who lives in the house on the right of hers? I can find out. But that's all. You stay here. So long as you're here, you're safe. You go outside in the street, the people, they won't stop to argue with you. Don't worry, there won't be any arguments. Senor Prefetto, it is not necessary to do that. It's only a question of time. He is in the city and he cannot get out. Oh, yes, of that is all taken care of. Railway, steamboat, airfield. If he as much as shows his nose in the street, we shall get him. drink while I talk. What's happened outside? It's still alive. Blood transfusions. But everybody knows what's going to happen. Now I've got to get hold of you, Cello. You've got to get out of this country. Bernardo's going to fix it. Well, where do I finish up? Growing raisins in South Africa under a false name? Well, what's wrong with raisins? Oh, forget you, Cello. You know I was offered 100,000 lire for you. But on the open market, I'm worth... I'm sorry, Rosa. You know how grateful I am. Gratitude is all I ever get from my men. Bernardo will give you your instructions tomorrow. Oh, and here's a little present for you. Only the newspapers. You can't blame them. Everyone wants news. Well, they won't get any. There isn't any. Well, he's gone to ground all right. We've been everywhere we can think of. In this city, it's like a rabbit warren. Mm, he's got to come out. He's got to come out sometime. You're sure he did it? Well, Luigi, don't you start. Tomorrow morning you go. How is everything? Very bad. It's happened. Two hours ago. He was a good man. Tomorrow morning I come back. Did you find out what I asked you? The house next door is a furniture depository. It belongs to Bori. Take my advice. Forget what you're thinking, please.
What are you doing here? What do you want? I want nothing from you. Now don't try to make trouble. A packed suitcase. I came just in time. The moment you leave here, I'm going to the police. Nero was a good man. I hate you for what you have done. I didn't do it. Uchello shot Nerva. It's a lie. No, why keep that up now? I don't blame you for trying to protect him, but Uchello shot Nerva and you know it. I know him. He could never have done it. You know me too. Do you think I could have killed him? Yes, I do. They told me you have done that sort of thing before. Uchello has. Adriana, don't you see? Uccello killed him. That's the price Boria made him pay. Place your hands above your head and keep them there. Have you got a gun? In my right pocket. A good thing you didn't try to use it. It wasn't meant for you. Come. We've got a launch waiting. You've got ten yards of street to cover. Don't try to excite attention or else... You told me that if I could prove to you Uccello was alive, you'd believe my story. Yes, I did. Well, he's within 50 yards of here now. It's now or never. You can walk along behind me with a gun in my back. Look at her. She knows I'm telling the truth. She was going off with the spot. It's a lie! Well, baby. But the first sign of stupid is when you kiss me. You're supposed to be in Rome on holiday. Well, what is all this, huh? I got back this evening. I use this as my dark room. That's the Englishman who killed Nerva. What he says doing? that you are Enzo Uccello, that you killed Nerva. Uccello? Yes, Uccello. Don't let him fool you, Spadoni. Look at that. A passport with his photograph with another name. A portrait of Adriana Madova, his wife. A bunch of steamship tickets for the Segovia, and she's lying in the bay now. Where is he, though? Oh! 